technology, our new best friend. We spend hours glued to our screens and other bits of tech every day. Last year, on average, we bought 1.5 billion smartphones and 340 million PCs. But could we really live without our closest allies? Well, I found out. I'm Ben Morris and I love my tech. I spend roughly 31 hours per week staring at my phone, computer and games console, just scrolling through social media or talking to friends and family. And now, I'm giving it all up for a week. So join me as I become disconnected. So we are roughly 10-ish hours uh, until I give up my PlayStation, my phone uh, and my laptop for a week um, and basically just cutting myself off from the technological social media world and not gonna lie, I'm petrified, um, you know, had a phone since I was 16 and now I'm just handing it over. So I'm about to hand over all my tech. I'm sad. I don't want to do this, but oh well. Here we go. So it's the first day of my no tech disconnected week, um, and I haven't looked at my phone. Haven't looked at my laptop, haven't been on PlayStation, uh, haven't watched TV. I don't know what's going on with the world. Um, I turned off my phone, um, like properly, and just before I turned it off, it went ping, and oh, saddest moment ever. Um, but oh well, that's life. Um, see how the rest of the week goes, shall we? Hello, um, so I'm losing my voice, so that's great. Um, today has been all right, better than I thought it would be. Um, I have been almost too busy to think about my phone, um, but like now I don't have anything to do. I'm, I'm missing it a bit, not gonna lie. Um, yeah. I want to message people, um, yeah, that's not happening, so, um, fun, uh, but I'm going to the pub tonight, um, normally I would just, like, order stuff on the app, like, in the pub, and then get it delivered to the table, um, but, can't do that, um, now, you know, like, pre-Covid, that would sound obvious um and you know like what what's the big deal there but you know post covid it's like ew, you got to interact with people that's not fun um but it's fine uh yeah that should be interesting um but yeah i can't film in the pub unfortunately they won't let me um but yeah i will talk to you afterwards. So, uh, I just had a thought. If my friend who I'm meeting up with, uh, doesn't show up or can't make it, he can't tell me. And so I'm just going to be sat there with a pint all the I mean, I have my carer, but, um, yeah. Ah, it's not fine, is it? Oh well, we'll see. It should turn up. As I just mentioned, it was only day one and I was already missing my phone. Now with that in mind, I spoke to Dr. Rhiannon Jones, a psychology lecturer at the University of Winchester, to understand why people are so addicted to their phones. Well, I think that there are a lot of reasons why. I suppose that 
One of the reasons would be that there's a kind of constant um, reward going on. So if we look at things like social media, then that's instantly rewarding. There's always some sort of, um, you know, people liking something or people showing you something new. And, and that gives you a kind of rewarding feeling. And if you have the rewarding feeling from something, then you want it again. And then it's just like with any kind of a drug. You keep on wanting to have it again and again. You need it more and more to get the same sort of impact. So that's one of the reasons I would say is the rewarding nature of it, particularly sort of socially. Hello, so day two, throat's still dodgy, sorry. Um, yeah, so pub was all good, my friend turned up, um, I didn't even consider having to use the app to order anything, um, just went up to the bar, perfectly friendly people. Um, yeah, it was good. Um, today I'm going to go off to uh, the shop, I have no food. Um, normally I would like buy online, but I can't do that. Um, I'm gonna go to the pharmacy. Oh, and then I'm going to go into the surgery, uh, book an appointment. I've got some stuff going on. Um, normally, book an appointment online. That's not happening either, is it? So, uh, yeah. So off I go to the big wide world, without my phone. I didn't go shopping, I found some pasta in the cupboard. But think about that for one moment. How often do you just get stuff delivered? Whether it's buying from eBay or Amazon, we can get anything with a click of a button. They were very helpful and said, yep, a doctor can talk to you. They'll give you a ring when they can. Brilliant. That wasn't going to work, was it? So I had to give them my carer's number. And yes, essentially I had failed before I had even started. But it was my health on the line, so I didn't really have a choice. Okay, so uh, I'm trying to get to my uh, performing arts society. And I don't know where it is, so I can't text anyone. So we are travelling around the whole of the uni just to find it. Hello. Oh, they are here. Oh, they're here. Ben is useless. Right, first of all, I can't go clubbing because I can't, like, text my carer when I need help. And now I've heard that there's a new Spider Man trailer and there's a new Harry Potter thing going on that I don't know about because I haven't had any technology and not gonna lie, I'm a bit annoyed. Also say hi guys. Hi. Everyone say hi. Hello. Say hi. Hello. 
Scott say hi. Hello. I don't even know if you can shout. But yeah. Okay, cool. Rant over. That's so annoying. It was inevitable. Boredom had taken over. I couldn't use my phone to fill empty time, which actually highlights the point that some people use their tech for their hobbies. Sylvia is a TikToker. She has over 1 million followers with her TikTok channel, I Laugh at My Own Jokes. Her content consists of comedy skits that often have hundreds of thousands of views. I'll be visiting my friend's son, Charlie, today. Harry Potter. Yes, we watched the first Harry Potter movie. Harry Potter. That's not his real accent. Harry Potter. That's all he's been saying for the past two and a half hours. I spoke to Sylvia about her channel and why she creates the content that she does and how it has become part of her lifestyle. I've always liked acting since, since I can remember and uh, making funny videos and jokes. I've been making videos since I had the phone to do so. And uh, now that, I don't know, since I discovered TikTok, I always wanted to try and see what people would think about my videos. So I started filming and posted them and I was glad to see that people liked them. So most of the comments don't spark any negative energy in me. I don't care. If, especially if it's comments like, um, uh, women not funny. It's, I just, uh, really, those are, I think those are funny for myself. Um, but there was one comment that once said, that was a long time ago, and it was during a phase where I didn't have many ideas and I was struggling to keep the videos going. And it said, does anyone feel like this channel is dying? And I was like, oh my God, it does feel like it. It does. Is it dying though? And then just not, not many days later, I filmed a TikTok that got millions of views. So that kind of got my hopes up again. And I was like, okay, never mind. I'm not dying. <laughs> but like comments like that, that repeat the thoughts that I'm having, they do get to me a little bit. Yeah. But you know what? Without my phone or laptop, it actually forced me out of the house. I went shopping, which I would normally do online. I went for walks, which I never do. And I actually sat down and read a book. Now, all of these things seem really simple to do, but I wouldn't have even thought about doing them if I was attached to my phone. So it's day five. Two more days to go. Thank God. Um... Haven't obviously seen any texts, emails, etc. I might go find a newspaper um, just to see what's been happening. Because I don't know. Um, something about uh, an explosion in Liverpool, but I don't know. Um, yeah. And I might go shopping later. Um, I have no food. Um, yeah, don't know if that'll happen. We'll see what happens during the day. Might just stay here, quite comfy. All through my week, I thought that surely I can't be the only one that wouldn't be able to cope without their tech. So I took to the streets and asked the people of Hampshire about their use of tech and how it affects them. So I take it you both have phones? We both have phones. Do you think you could live without them? Kids? Yeah. yeah. How much do you depend on them on a daily basis? Uh, more out of boredom than anything, I think. If I get bored, I'll pick up my phone. Yeah. yeah. Maybe sat nav, but, yeah. but other than that. We keep a check on the stock market and um, I keep in touch with my daughter. We keep in touch with each other. Uh, we read uh, on the phone. Um, Kindle we keep a like. check on news here in the United Kingdom and international news. Right, so do you ever use it when you're sort of bored or need like a, um, something to do? 
I would use it when I'm looking for something like an English recipe to bake something, but boredom, it's not something that happens to us. How much do you have to pay for it? Um, for pretty much everything, to be honest. Uh, social media, emails, um, university, everything like that. Do you think you could live without it? Probably not at this stage, no. If it was taken away from you? Yeah. If it would happen? I mean, I wouldn't even be able to get home for a start. I don't live here, so I wouldn't be able to get home because I have all my cards. I've, I don't even have a physical card anymore that I keep on me. We are all connected. Whether you're young or old, rich or poor, we have technology to bring us together. And if you look at our capabilities today, they are quite impressive. We can talk to anyone instantaneously. People on opposite sides of the planet can become best friends, and we can even talk to people in space. So in reality, could we really live without our technology? Probably not. Right, I'm just about to get my tech back. Happy days. Um, been an interesting week. Uh, posed some challenges I didn't expect. Um, being ill also didn't help. Um, so that was something I did not need. Um, would I do it again? No. No, I would not. Um, wait, no, um, the one is about No! No! Oh my god, no! No! It's run out of charge! No! My phone's dead! Oh my god! Plug it into my chair right now!